Welcome back everybody. We uh, we finally, finally got that uh, fire training done. The tank was full enough to finally be able to uh, to fill it. So it took three days, but uh, we've finally done the fire training. So Annabelle's all clued up with that. She's just starting up art now. I'm gonna bring that up here. We need to do oil and oil filter change, fuel and fuel filter change. Well, fuel, fuel to change, we're not changing the fuel. And if you have a look, the auger is out. And the auger's out because I can't fold it back in and I want to figure out why. Uh, I believe, well, I think it might be something to do with hydraulic oil, something like that, so I'm going to top that up and just see. The hydraulic oil gauge on that's very finicky. Sometimes it's got lots of hydraulic oil and then the next day, even though you've done nothing, you got nothing. So I'm going to top that up and just check that, do the obvious thing first, and then we'll work from there. And uh, Henry has got two tanks of uh, Roundup to do out in the canola and he's all done. So today we'll be bringing all his stuff back at some point. So I gauged this morning has got no hydraulic oil in it. Uh, yesterday I did, so uh, that's going to be the first thing we do. We're going to fill that up and uh, then we're going to try and fold that auger back. Because it's empty, I don't want to use a 20 litre drum and keep pumping and coming back. I've got a feeling there's going to be quite a bit of uh, hydraulic oil that's going to be going into this tractor. So uh, I'm going to take the whole thing out. No, don't be shy because there's going to be a lot of hot dog cold going into this. Moment of truth. <laughs> to see if we were just low on hydraulic oil. Just gonna wait for the screen to load now. And now I gotta do that. This is the most annoying thing about this tractor, that that happens all the time. All right, let's see. Ah, it didn't work. Something is getting stuck up there, and I've checked. There's nothing there to get stuck. getting stuck there. I wonder if it's our new fitting up there. And it is. Fold out! <coughs> Fold back! So, if you guys can see that, it is getting stuck right there. So how am I going to fix that? Maybe my bolt on the top needs pulling up or something. Um, yeah. Alright, at least I know the issue so we can hopefully maybe fix it. <laughs> so we'll get on and we'll do the oil change and the filter change and then we'll uh, get to fixing that.
No, oil everywhere. <laughs> well, poor Art got covered in oil again. So we'll get the new filter on and give it a clean up. Right, so now we're down to uh, filling up oil. We've got the new filter on and I just want to show you guys what I was meaning. We had that below the cold full and you know we only ran the tractor Obviously, it's going to increase with uh, the, when the tractor gets hot, but um, we only ran the tractor for that, I don't know, two minutes that I was diagnosing out there. And uh, you can see how full it is already. And uh, on, on that, I've uh, worked out, well, we, we already knew what was happening, but uh, the, when you uh, look at the top of the auger, when it's, uh, when it's in its position, up the top here, uh, if I can zoom in, I'll zoom in. The uh, the rod is too high. You can see the locking pin up the top there. So all we're going to do is we're going to bring that down so it's uh, flush with the with the bearing housing now. And then that means that uh, when we go to fold, we shouldn't have that issue of uh, it getting locked as it's coming out because obviously it's still got all that to fall down when we're trying to fold it. So um, yeah, all I'll do is do that and uh, hopefully that um, that fixes our issue and in goes the fresh oil after Annabelle remembered to turn the tap off because I forgot well, at least she'd only done about three pumps uh, so once we've done that we'll run the tractor up just to make sure that the uh, the system's all good and then we're gonna do the uh, the, the fuel and then uh, after the fuel we've then got to deal with our, uh, our lovely auger there Alrighty, Annabelle's out there just finishing off the uh, engine oil uh, and while she's doing that I'm just going to uh, bolt in the, the box here so just going to put uh, two bolts, two bolts and then we should be all, uh, all hunky-dory and of course it moved my box The, uh, the box is all done. So I've got my straps in, it's not moving. So I'll lock that up. Pack my tools away and then I can go park this over in the lineup. And then uh, Annabelle's nearly finished with the oil. Just uh, probably another 10 or so liters and it'll be done. And then we'll move on to the fuel.
Right, the fuel filters are on. Now we're going to see if we can try and get this first go. And like uh, the last previous times I've tried this and we end up having to sit here for a little bit winding it. So let's check to see if we're filling. Which we're not. Taps on. There we go. We find if we uh, crack that one, it lets the air get out and then uh, we can fill our system. All right, we got fuel out of both filters. Let's see if we can uh, start this. That would be a no. All right, second attempt now. There we go. Rightio, fuel, oil done. Now, all we're gonna do, and that'll be uh, an after lunch job, is sort out the, uh, the auger. Henry's finished spraying. Well, he's finished with the trucks. He's uh, on his last tank now, so he'll be finished that in probably half an hour or something. So all the canola's done, the baler we wanted to do is done, so Henry will be washing his boom probably this afternoon, I'd say. So that's all done, or tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get this stuff back to the shed. Uh, at some point, we will need to wash this uh, the truck out. So we'll need to wash the trailer out, because hopefully, on Saturday, my uh, tank, water tank, at my new house will be uh, put up. And then we are gonna put, uh, fill this up with rainwater from the shed, because that's overflowing anyway. Bring it down and top it up. So put 43,000 litres, 42,000 litres into it. And then that way we've got, uh, you know, the, the tank's got weight in it and it's settled and there's, uh, there's water there for whenever the uh, tradies need it. So I'm up in the, in the cage at the moment and this is what we're dealing with. So you can see how high up this is uh, and that's the reason that we're having the issue when we try and fold. So when we're folding, this is slipping down and then that's catching down the bottom there. So uh, my plan is to undo this and then lower this sleeve down to here and then get a mark and drill through it. Now see how I go drilling it, it is solid steel as you can see. Uh, and then uh, move that sleeve down and then hopefully that means that when we go to uh, fold it, it'll be in the right position and we should be all sweet. I've got through, so I've got a nice hole that goes through there now. My uh, only issue is I didn't use the big enough drill bit. So I started using my step drill, and that was working, but uh, the chuck ended up hitting the uh, bearing housing, so I couldn't. So I swapped to uh, the drill bit, and uh, thankfully it wasn't a blunt drill bit, because it cut through it actually quite nicely. Now I've got to step up my game, and take off like half a mil now as I'm cutting around so this could be interesting cutting the last this last bit but anyway hopefully this works <laughs>
done. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I guess I'll just go down and we'll see if we can fold the auger. I'm assuming we will, but uh, yeah, anyway, I didn't get my hole completely straight. Apparently I went on a little bit of an angle, so I had to just drill a little bit from uh, this side just to uh, help it get through, but that's all good. We got through. So uh, that's what it looks like now. We will uh, attempt to fold this auger. Moment of truth. And would you look at that, I've got a folding auger now. Oh, that makes me happy. So now that we've actually got the auger working, I was able to actually show Annabelle how to uh, actually operate the chaser bin. So she's just over there getting her, uh, her confidence up. She's going over a couple of field bins and just, uh, you know, getting the hang of it and, you know, getting the, the right judge of distance. Uh, I'm going to pack my tools away. I need to keep the cage because Henry is up here. He is washing his boom. And uh, I've got that oil to deal with as well. I need to dispose of that in our, uh, in our oil um, drum. Using a cut-off shuttle for your oil, very handy. But don't do what I did and cut it too short. Because when you're transporting around, it takes... There's just such a high risk of it spilling everywhere. So I just got to make sure that I've uh, got my drum open, otherwise we end up overflowing this. But we should be right. What you doing? Hey. <laughs> My kids are very excited when they get off the school bus, they get to come to the shed and they get to uh, meet Dexter and just give him too many packs. Righty, oh well, Henry and Annabelle are about to start washing uh, the main part of the, the boom. Uh, and the kids have met Dexter, although Dexter's a little unsure of them. Uh, so they're, uh, they're back there just uh, trying to get acquainted with him. Poor little puppy. <laughs> but that's alright. Now I'm just heading down to go and get some augers. I'm going to start carting all the augers back up to the shed here so that tomorrow we can uh, start to service them and get them all ready for harvest. Well, I got the oldest auger first, so uh, we'll get this one back there and then get all the other ones out of the shed. So uh, I think I'll leave the video there. Thank everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll catch you in the next one.